Well, hi there, and welcome to this tutorial for Fastlane Digital Audio School done in Montpellier, France, an Ableton Certified Training Center. In these two tutorials, I'm going to show you some quick tricks to humanize your arpeggiator. You've all used the arpeggiator. I'm not going to show you how to use that tool. It dates back from the 80s. It's been used and overused on many countless hits. But there are some little tricks I really wanted to show people. Some things you may know, some things you may not know, and let's do that now. So to demonstrate these little tricks on Arpeggiator, I've created a groove here, and I've added here a piano line. These chords are fed into a MIDI clip. I'm gonna place the Arpeggiator right in front of this piano, and you can hear straight away the Arpeggiator working. It decomposes the chords. So we're kind of losing the chords, but we're gaining rhythm. And the pace, the rate here, determine how fast the repetitions will be. And the order in which the notes will be played. We can also adjust the length of the notes using the gate, like so. Now, straight away you can hear the arpeggiator is great because it's giving a rhythm, but it's really rigid. And we could use the groove here to swing the repetitions. Now, the first trick I want to show you is this. The amount of groove, the strength of the groove inside the arpeggiator is dictated by the global amount here. As I raise the amount, the syncopation gets stronger and stronger. Like so. Alright, so that's the first trick. I don't think many people realize this is the global amount that dictates how strong the groove is within the arpeggiator. Now the second trick, really simple. I'm going to group my arpeggiator into a rack. Now, racks enable us to have parallel systems, parallel chains of events. And this is exactly what we're going to do. I'm going to duplicate the chain within the rack. And now we have two different lines of MIDI notes that are going to be generated by this arpeggiator. I'm going to change slightly the uh, bottom one here. I'm going to add a pitch plugin behind it to lower the notes. Uh, let's say two octaves. Bring longer notes. Maybe bring down a little bit the uh, intensity, the volume. Like so. I'm going to bring the original one. And you can hear now both lines, just like if we had a, a, a pianist here with the left hand right there and the right hand here. Yeah, so this is only scratching the surface, obviously, but you realize that using a rack and an arpeggiator can open many, many creative doors. And finally, for today's tutorial, I'm going to add a chord behind the arpeggiator because we're losing, intimately, we're losing the chords we had to start with as we broke the arpeggiator into the chain. Now, using chord here, you can recuperate, reconstitute the chords you've lost. As simple as that. Very simple ways to use the arpeggiator. Right, that's it for the first part of this tutorial. In the second part, I'll show you how to further humanize your arpeggiation.